All right. Uh, well, I had me an MK6 extruder, and I wasn't too impressed with the uh, little gear that's hobbed. It's uh, it's all right. But I thought I was thinking, and I just said, well, how about something like this? And uh, looks to be pretty efficient. It will go about as fast as you want. And uh, depending on which pitch screw you went, used in there, I would think uh, you could get pretty dependable rapids out of it. Let me show you what I built. It's probably pretty obvious to you now that you've seen it. Uh, it's a simple piece of uh, three-quarter all thread. And I... Uh, I cut it down. I was planning on putting a bearing and a helical coupler and uh, attach it to a stepper. I cut a slot with a small drill bit the same size as the uh, filament. Uh, bumped it up against a three-quarter inch end mill so it had the same profile. It feeds well. It's uh, you know, with a few slots and some tuning up. This is just a proof of concept idea. Uh, I believe you could actually have some spring tension on there and you could actually get a long surface area if you wanted and put a press to fit fitting on the end and you could even have a remote drive for a filament drive uh, seems like a much better way to do it you got a lot more surface area getting the filament uh, so to me it just makes a lot more sense than what you get maybe three three teeth of a hob this uh, I used a fine tooth all thread uh, I have another one that I bought at the same time that's a a more coarse thread and you might get a, uh, a faster feed uh, again you saw how fast this is a simple idea but it could uh, pop in and out if you needed to clean it boom take the front off and uh, of course this would be captured with a bearing and a uh, probably a thrust bearing on each side and uh, then your helical coupler and a stepper mount a stepper mount up here and uh, you can make your threads as long as you want. You could have this remote and have a feeder tube, however you want. Just another idea. Saw everybody else's. Check it out.